In an age dominated by stealth fighters, digital cockpits, and autonomous drones, one aircraft still refuses to fade away. A machine forged in the Cold War, yet still roaring across European skies, the legendary Panavia Tornado. For more than 40 years, this twin-engine, variable-sweep-wing jet has stood as a symbol of German engineering excellence and NATO's enduring multi-role air power. Despite the passing decades, its remarkable adaptability, continuous upgrades, and mission versatility have allowed it to remain relevant deep into the 21st century. In this video, we'll uncover the full story of Germany's tornado, its origins, unique design, advanced systems, and its evolving partnership with the Eurofighter Typhoon. Born in the Cold War the tornado's journey began in the heat of the Cold War, when NATO realized it needed a new kind of aircraft, one that could fly low, strike hard, and survive deep behind enemy lines. By the late 1960s, West Germany, the United Kingdom, and Italy joined forces to launch a shared project under Panavia Aircraft GmbH. The result was revolutionary, a jet capable of flying fast, low, and lethal. For Germany, it became the ultimate strike weapon, a machine built to deliver precise attacks under the radar, even against the dense Soviet air defenses of the Warsaw Pact. A revolutionary design. The tornado's design was decades ahead of its time. Its most recognizable feature, variable geometry wings, capable of changing shape mid-flight. During takeoff or at lower speeds, the wings extend outward for greater lift and stability. But at high speed, they sweep back sharply, reducing drag and allowing the aircraft to break the sound barrier with ease. This ingenious system gave the tornado unmatched flexibility. Able to skim low and slow during bombing runs or blast past Mach 2 on high-speed penetration missions. At its heart are two Turbo Union RB199 turbofan engines generating nearly 40,000 pounds of thrust combined. With a top speed exceeding 2,400 kilometers per hour, about 1,500 miles per hour, and a combat radius near 1,400 kilometers, the tornado could strike deep inside hostile territory, hit its targets with precision, and make it home safely. Variants and Roles the German Air Force, or Luftwaffe, primarily operates two main tornado variants. The Tornado IDS, Interdictor Slash Strike, optimized for ground attack missions armed with bombs, missiles, and precision munitions. The Tornado ECR, Electronic Combat Slash Reconnaissance, specialized in electronic warfare, detecting, jamming, or destroying enemy radar installations using anti-radiation missiles like the AGM-88 Harm. During its early service years, the Tornado quickly became one of NATO's most capable strike platforms. It formed a cornerstone of deterrence throughout the Cold War, ready to perform nuclear strike missions under NATO's dual-key nuclear sharing policy. Germany's Tornadoes were certified to carry the American B-61 nuclear bomb, providing a credible deterrent role for the Alliance. A multi-role legend. What makes the Tornado extraordinary is its versatility. It can switch roles effortlessly, from reconnaissance and electronic warfare to deep strike and interdiction. Germany's tornado fleet is capable of carrying a diverse arsenal, unguided bombs, GBU-24 Paveway-3 laser-guided weapons, anti-ship missiles, and the Taurus KEPD-350 cruise missile, a stealthy, long-range precision weapon capable of hitting hardened targets more than 500 kilometers away. Modernization and Upgrades To stay relevant, the Tornado has undergone constant modernization. The most transformative changes came with the ADA and ADA 3.1 avionics upgrade programs, which brought the jet firmly into the digital age. These updates introduced new multifunction displays, modern GPS navigation, enhanced communication systems, improved radar warning receivers, and better integration of precision-guided weapons. Such upgrades ensured full compatibility with NATO's latest targeting and communication networks, allowing Germany's tornadoes to operate seamlessly alongside Eurofighter typhoons and even U.S. aircraft during joint missions. 
The Tornado ECR also received updated electronic warfare suites and the ability to deploy new generations of harm missiles, improving its effectiveness against modern radar threats. Despite being a product of the 1970s, the Tornado remains a vital component of Germany's operational air power. Today, the Luftwaffe maintains around 90 Tornado aircraft divided between strike and reconnaissance squadrons, still capable of performing both conventional and nuclear missions. Tornado and TIE Fighter – perfect partners. When compared to its modern counterpart, the Eurofighter Typhoon, the Tornado's strengths and weaknesses become clear, yet the two complement each other perfectly. The Typhoon is a highly agile air superiority fighter built for interception and air-to-air -air combat, while the Tornado remains a dedicated strike aircraft designed for high-speed, low-altitude penetration and precision bombing. Together, they form a balanced strike team. The Typhoon secures the skies, and the Tornado delivers devastating ground attacks. This combination mirrors the partnership seen in the U.S. Air Force between the F-15E Strike Eagle and the F-16 Fighting Falcon, one carrying the heavy payload, the other providing air cover. Yet, the Tornado still stands apart with one rare capability, its ability to fly ultra-low altitude missions using terrain-following radar, hugging the Earth at just 200 feet while traveling at tremendous speed, a skill even the F-15E cannot fully match. Built to survive. The Tornado was designed for the harshest battlefields in Europe. It features robust construction, redundant systems, and advanced electronic countermeasures to survive dense air defense zones. Its two-person crew, a pilot and a weapon systems officer, work together to manage complex low-level missions with precision and coordination, maximizing both safety and combat effectiveness. Combat Legacy the Tornado's combat record is proof of its resilience. It first saw action in the 1991 Gulf War, where British Tornadoes conducted daring low-level bombing missions over Iraq, while German jets performed reconnaissance tasks. Though several aircraft were lost in these high-risk sorties, their performance cemented the Tornado's reputation as a capable and fearless strike aircraft. Later, it participated in NATO campaigns across the Balkans, Afghanistan, and Libya, carrying out both strike and reconnaissance missions with remarkable success. Even as other nations retired their tornado fleets, Germany chose to modernize and retain its own, a decision that preserved key strike and electronic warfare capabilities unmatched within the Luftwaffe. The end of an era and a lasting legacy. However, the end of the tornado era is approaching. Germany plans to retire its fleet by the late 2020s. Its replacement strategy includes a combination of the Eurofighter Typhoon and the American F-35A Lightning II. The Typhoon will assume conventional strike and electronic warfare duties, while the F-35A will take over the nuclear delivery role within NATO's shared deterrence strategy. Even as it nears retirement, the Tornado continues to serve as a bridge between generations, a symbol of engineering endurance and tactical evolution. Few aircraft in history have remained effective across such vast technological leaps. Born in the analog age, the Tornado successfully transitioned into the era of digital warfare. Its design philosophy, a blend of speed, flexibility, and mission diversity, still influences modern European aircraft today, including the Eurofighter and the upcoming Future Combat Air System FCAS. The Tornado was never meant to dominate dogfights, nor was it built to be invisible. Its true strength lay in flying fast, low, and with deadly accuracy. It embodied the perfect blend of British adaptability, German precision, and Italian efficiency a true European masterpiece, a thunder that still echoes. As the Luftwaffe prepares to move towards stealth fighters and autonomous drones, the tornado's thunder will not fade quietly. It will be remembered not as a relic, but as a legend, an aircraft that bridged eras, defined doctrines, and stood unbroken through decades of change. For over 40 years, it has been Germany's sword and shield, adapting to every new threat and proving that innovation, when paired with resilience, can keep even the oldest warriors flying strong. The tornado's roar may one day fall silent, but its legacy will continue to echo across Europe's skies. What do you think of the legendary tornado? Share your thoughts in the comments below. 
And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss our latest deep dives into the world of military aviation.